Hey, 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 everybody. Michelle is here. Michelle is here on this Wednesday. It is August the 7th, 2024 on Wednesday. And I'm out and about handling my business, as you can tell, hopefully, that I'm in my vehicle. Let me try to make this a little so that I can talk to y'all. <laughs> Oh, what a morning already. Uh, I, f I forgot to bring my uh, stand to hold the phone, but we're good. The traffic is so condensed, it's hard to um, move forward and, and blah, blah, blah. Let me take off this hat. Oof. All right. Yeah, I only have the hat on when I'm outside. And, you know, I got myself covered because, you know, it's already almost 100 degrees and it's not even 10, 10 a.m. on the West Coast, baby, baby. Ah, I'm feeling good like I know I would and know I should. Just, um, you know, picking up some energy that I don't like, but, you know, that comes with the territory. You know, a lot of energy of uh, woundedness. You know, you can pick up the energy of woundedness of people by just just paying attention to their conversations, whether it's written or spoken. You can learn so much about people in that way. If you just take the time to pay attention to them, their, their language, sounds, and tones will display and represent their realities. So everything is quite simple. And I hope the psychiatrist... And psychologists and philosophers, um, you know, these so-called innovative type minds will understand that everything starts with the thoughts. You can quickly diagnose what is wrong with someone or what is right with someone based on their sounds and tones and their languages and how they are, are expressing themselves. And then that way you can uh, kind of deal with them accordingly. I know how to do that and that's what I'm hoping to do is help those that resonate with me and we we have to if we choose to understand that some people love their wounds some people love to be in pain some people love um, and, and get get a get a joy out of being in pain being angry and being you know so so um, turned up inside because that is what fuels them and gives them the energy to, to get out of bed. You know, some people cannot get out of bed unless they're angry about something. You know what I mean? When I say get out of bed, some people uh, lose uh, vitality and the willingness to live. So, you know, they call it depression. Okay, you can call it anything you want. It's really not anything that you can word properly because our uh, so so many of our uh, words have been changed and commercialized so a lot of people have no idea what they are really going through per se they just pick up the uh, the definitions from the internet you know maybe even their doctors or therapists are using such languages with them or or uh, words with them that really doesn't resonate with them you know um, there's just a lot of, um, sort, um, there's so much energy that's, uh, all over, you know, just flailing, you know, failing all over the world. Can't talk this morning. I had my coffee, but a lot of people is just, uh, they have that cold disposition. You ever met people like that? They're like cold and, and almost inhumane, like. And, you know, clammy and cold, you know, and boring too. Very dull and, and really have no uh, kind of lifelessness. And they constantly are projecting out towards other people. And it's so simple to seek within, to find something that brings joy and enthusiasm, makes you laugh, you know. As I said, if you can laugh at yourself, you are there. You know, you know, you, 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 I would say you're halfway there. Just continue to understand 
there's a lot of things going on behind the scenes that we cannot control. There's nothing we can do about our climate destruction. It's going to go wild. And a lot of people um, are kind of um, have a lot of wishful thinking, which is understandable about what they hope. And, you know, like I said, with hope, hope sometimes demonstrates um, doubtfulness. But a lot of people have a lot of hope about what they are wishing for. You know, it's a lot of it. It's a lot of pipe dreams. You know, it's a lot of, you know, a lot of dreaming, which is beautiful to be dreamy. But you have to come out of your fantasies at some point and deal with the realities of your situation. And most people do not. Most people spend most of their time indoors, you know, on the Internet, you know, uh, harassing people, you know, uh, doing everything in their power to discourage people, you know, lie to people, manipulate people, especially when it comes to voting. I'm not going to talk about that right now, but I'm going to come back to that. You know, you know, um, not realizing that there's a problem at the core. OK, and it doesn't involve the um, American people when it comes to voting. When some of these, ag you know, these uh, activists and those are advocating for voting, when you snap out of it and realize what is actually going on, you may, you may, you may tell people to stop voting. All right, if you knew the truth, but nobody wants to listen to that. They don't want to listen to the results. They rather people go out and risk their lives. Okay, again, this is not business as usual. Okay, we cannot go around. You know, well, we or well, we have, but until we take our heads out of the sand, this is going to be the same deja vu over. It doesn't matter who's in office. Okay, I support um, a female candidate. Of course, I do. I, you know, I support women, women of color. But I know that it doesn't start or end with her. I know that it requires all of us to get on to back on to reconnect back to reality and so you hear the hatefulness coming out see when people are, are have self-hatred for themselves their hatred is going to come out in their in their languages sounds and tones okay pay attention to that uh you, no one has to know that you're paying attention to what people are saying you can tell when someone's about to have a psychosis i can i can tell when someone's about to have a psychosis I can tell when someone is languishing themselves into depression, melancholy, whatever. I can tell and I can pick up right away when something's about to happen with someone. And we all can do it if we trust ourselves and know that that's our skills and abilities. That's a birthright for all of us. So I'm disappointed, but then, you know, I'm disappointed and I I just don't know how others are going to finally snap out of their trances. I doubt a lot of them will. And that's a sad that's sad to me because I sense about our current reality that there is something going on with time. I said that before. Not timing, but the time. And so as we are approaching the dawning of the age of Aquarius, there's so many things that I sense that are brewing right before our eyes. You know, there's so much ignorance in behavior, ignorance in, in uh, how people are behaving and acting that it's going to, you know, we are at the cusp of destruction. That's literally, figuratively, and metaphorically. But people, you know, I, I relied on, I rely on others to spread the messages as well and to disseminate. I know as an individual, I can't disseminate and no one ought to rely on one person anyway. As I've said, you need to, this, this effort requires millions of us, possibly billions of us to reconnect our collectiveness to the goal of peace and love. And so many people are contradicting themselves and they keep relying on age old, expired um, policies and procedures that no longer are relevant. Okay? When certain policies and procedures were created, 
or administered, we had a much smaller population then. Okay, no one is considering the fact that we have artificial intelligence that's running the show. I told you some people would rather deal with robots than human beings. And that's because of the, uh, a lot of it is because of their own self-hatred of human beings, which self-hatred of themselves, I should say. And so it displays itself towards human beings. And it doesn't matter what they're doing. We, for the most part, have no idea what's going on inside of people. So they can sit and talk to you and sound rational, sound logical, but there's anything but. Okay, some of us have the innate ability. Again, some of us are innately inclined, if you trust that, to pick up certain signals and signs and warnings. So you got you have to trust yourself. We cannot be relying on age-old, expired policies and procedures that are n no longer relevant and at the same time more dangerous than ever. Nobody wants to think beyond certain uh, paradigms, as they say. <sighs> but I'm going to still... Uh, do what I can. I know that I can make a small impact, and I will. All of us can. If all of us did a small impact, it would make a big difference, by the way. Uh, it's all about, like I said, the energy of your thoughts. What are you thinking about? What do you want? What do you need? You have to answer these questions, but no one has to know. No one has to know what you're doing and what you're thinking about. It's about peace and love. You know, more so universal love, even of your enemies, is about respecting people, regardless of whether they're masculine or feminine, male or female. There's a lot of consciousness damage geared and circling around gender. Okay? And gender is irrelevant. Okay? There's still a biology to how we all became as we are. You know, we had that spark of energy that created us, but yet there's a biology to how we are developing, okay? We have male and female, masculine and feminine. And so there's a distortion there. There's a severe distortion, actually. A lot of people are, to me, and I know this may sound controversial to a lot of people, but if you come out and say you're non-binary, that sounds like self-hatred to me. That sounds like self-hatred to me. So I'm going to have to talk to people who uh, who are um, using such a language. Okay? Do you want to be a male? Do you want to be a female? It doesn't matter what you're thinking in those realms, though. Okay? It's still biology as usual. Biology is what created this planet, this universe. Okay? Which... With the existent with the assistance of a spark of energy. So there I'm, I know I'm throwing a lot of things in this, and I know, like I said, I know who's listening, and it doesn't show up in likes, and it will not show up in views. Remember, there's so so much technology out there where people can go in the back door of your technology. And you will not have a clue that is happening. So be righteous. Be honest. And snap out of it. There is um, more going on than beats the eye. <coughs> and we cannot keep putting everything on the shoulders of politics or politicians. Who have time and time and time again, no matter who they are, have failed us. There is no guarantees about politics because politics is a game. And if you don't know how to play the game, you're going to get yourself fucked every time. Now, there is something about being represented. Yes. There's, there's some power in that. And we just have to be creative. We have all these people that claim they're scholars and claim they're they have these masters and they have all this high, high level education and they can't think out of their ass. Okay, they're, they're, they're operating off of pure emotions, whether they're male or female. 
they're operating off of emotions and they're not using logic and rational and reasonable thinking you know they're just uh they're just uh what do they call that term reacting without thinking and thinking is what's killing people too along with your beliefs thinking is what's killing people because people are not thinking properly okay so those of you that know what's going on let's get busy no one has to know what you're doing i i like i said i know by the energy that i'm feeling and sensing and receiving okay there's 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 going to be some forces of uh forces of energy coming forth especially because we're in a political season where you're going to really see the true character of people you're going to see that they are nothing but they they have done nothing but lie to themselves and therefore they're lying to us about you know what our rights are when they know damn well we necessarily do not have rights we have been masquerading as a democracy when we, and well when we were for decades upon decades operating out of a dictatorship okay so stop putting too much pressure on one person okay make yourself responsible number one change your sounds and tones okay monitor yourself and be honest about what you want. Do you want attention or do you want to make an impact? Okay? I want to make an impact. And chances are I may get some attention. That comes with the territory as well. Um, so trust yourself. Okay? Please, if you don't do anything else, heal yourself. If you do not heal yourself, all you're doing is um, conjuring up deja vu, deja vu, deja vu meaning you're just gonna keep living these same experiences over and over and over again you're gonna be in a spin and you're not gonna be able to get out okay so i'm gonna go ahead and send peace and love all over the stars and moon and mountains let me finish running my errands and taking care of my business but trust me i will be back